Hello and welcome once again to our coverage of the 2023 Cricket World Cup. In today's match, it'll be the host nation India battling the defending world champions, England. Said champions have had a rocky start to their World Cup, with losses coming to New Zealand, South Africa, and Afghanistan. The last time we saw India in World Cup action on this network, they defeated their infamous rivals Pakistan by four wickets, thanks to the heroics of Virat Kohli. Since then, they've had victory after victory in this tournament. This is certain to be an exciting match. It emanates from the Ikana Cricket Stadium in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. The action is about to begin, so let's go there right now. Action set to begin here at the Akana Cricket Stadium between India and England. And we want to thank you for joining us as our Cricket World Cup coverage continues. Match 28 of the tournament set to begin. As we go to the coin toss, England will have the choice. Their call is heads. And the result is heads. So England winning the toss. Their choice will be to bat. And that elicits a roar from the crowd, the very spread out crowd here at the Akana Stadium. It's going to be Jason Roy along with Duckett facing off against Jasprit Bumrah. And we'll see the slow run up and the unorthodox stance of Bumrah on display. As we get underway, first over, first ball, first innings of the 28th match of the 2023 Cricket World Cup. Next delivery to Roy. Watch Bobra closely. He's known for that unorthodox stance of his. We'll see it again here. And maybe it'll allow me to dissect it a bit. He runs up, he creeps up slowly, then just has his arm way out as he throws the ball, but so far it's worked. Halfway through the first over, and England have not scored a single run. Although, he will only, only be allowed to bowl one over, so... After he is done, it will be up to the rest of the bowlers for India to hold England where they are. But right now, doing a good job of keeping the score down, even if you, even if they do score, shutting them out for this first over could be very beneficial. Of course, they will score, and now Roy is going to send it far. It is stopped at deep mid-wicket. And this is a close call. Two runs for England. They finally score. After an interesting start to this match. Brought on by Jasprit Bumrah, who now walks in for his final delivery in this match. Oh, what a hit. But it's going to be caught. Wicket. And that's quite the ending to this over. A dismissal for Bumrah. Jason Roy out in his first over. Yavendra Chahal with the catch. Coming in now to replace Roy will be Dawood Mellon against Kumar. England one for two at the end of the first over. Not looking good for the defending champions in the early going here, but they're going to break away on this short chance. Not much distance, but still able to get the single. They've got a lot of catch up to play after those that over from Bumrah, and they're being a bit desperate. They're running on every hit, no matter how small it seems. Ben Duckett will be on strike for his 
second ball. Perhaps that's the strategy I would adopt as well. In a bit of a deep hole. And this one, a close call as they get two. And Duckett remains on strike. Halfway through the over. This will be sent away by third man. Picked up, thrown back, and to the keeper. England get two more. Soaring away, or rather rolling away. Those are two very different things. This is not a six, and it's not even a four. It's just two. That first over from Bumra really working wonders for India. And the innings of the host nation in this match may be very short. However, this has gone behind the keeper. And it's gone to the boundary to wrap up over number two. And with 12 balls gone, England one for 14. Chahal to bowl the third over. He made the catch in the only wicket. Oh, there's another one! Got him! Wicket keeper comes in handy. And the first delivery from the spin bowler gives India another dismissal. You never know. You just never know. Dawood Milan dismissed as the wicketkeeper, Mishab Pant, makes the catch. And Harry Brook will come in now for England. And some advice. Beware the spin bowler. Don't hit it to the keeper. Caught again! Well, this is very quickly becoming a slaughter. There's a bit of a first person view off the replay. And Harry Brook, Golden Duck, out first ball. And Joss Butler will come in now. Two in a row. Chahal. On a hat trick. Can he get a third? Oh, so close. And the roar going up from the crowd here at the Akana Cricket Stadium. A display of the closeness, or an assertion, I should say. This is a five over match. There are only five wickets in these matches. So, England. If two more batsmen are dismissed, that is all. And India go into their innings early, and if you were to ask me, I think it could be rather likely this is thrown, and it hits, but he's in the crease safely. Ben Duckett, the standout so far, 11 runs from five balls. As Chahal delivers his final ball, hoping for the third wicket but it will not come. This goes to the boundary. As the third over comes to an end, England three for just 20. 12 balls remaining for the defending World Cup champions in their innings. Shardul Thakur in now for India. Run rate of 6.67 for England here. And this is going to be sent away by third man. Goes for a single. And with the shocking spin bowling tactics of Yavendra Chahal gone, England hoping to break away, take advantage. As this is sent around silly mid off. English side, 3 for 21, a very low score, and is this going to be... Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Well, 
They're down to one. They're down to one. Just off the edge of the bat. Catch is made by Rishabh Pant and Butler's gone. An incredibly dominant performance by India. Ben Stokes coming in now for England. One of the biggest stars in the 2019 World Cup victory. Oh, swing and a miss, goes right to the keeper. But he is the last hope tonight for England. Another wicket would mean the end of their innings and India to the crease. I believe I said in yesterday's Australia-New Zealand match, I brought up the fact that the last three winners of the World Cup have all been the host nations. So if you were to ask me to pick someone to win the World Cup this year, I might say India. And they're certainly living up to that prognostication as England get another single away. Fifth over begins, Ravindra Jadeja, the left arm finger spin bowler, coming in now. England losing two men to spin bowling. Will they lose a third? Swing and a miss by Ben Stokes. Very far away, but not wide. This one more towards the batsman. More towards the stumps. Jadeja rolls through off the catch. England just 4 for 23. This is, as they may say, a thrashing. If Stokes can get a couple of maximums off here in the third inning. Stokes or Duckett. Third inning. Third. Fifth over. I'm thinking baseball for some reason. I'm thinking baseball. Duckett is going to try and get a four. But as, as I'm trying to say, this is going to be close. He makes it. That's three. If they can get away two maximums off these last two balls, they may have a chance. Next delivery from Jadeja. Just goes to short square leg. And now the final delivery of over number five will bring England's innings to an end. Their total, four wickets, 26 runs. Not a good situation to be in for the English. We'll see what the defense can do as India come into the crease. Ben Duckett and Ben Stokes, the two men not out. One of the highlights here, Harry Brook out first ball. And a thrashing, a slaughtering of England performed here by India. As now the opening partnership comes in, it's going to be Rohit Sharma starting us off on strike against Jafra Archer. Jafra Archer, one to watch perhaps. It was Archer in the Super over against New Zealand in 2019. But his first delivery is going to be set to the boundary and that could be a bit of an omen. A bit of a signal as to what this is going to be. Four men gone on England's side in their batting innings. India at the moment need 23 from 29 balls. Four sixes would end this, although that seems somewhat unlikely. This will go to mid-wicket and give India a single. Very good start. Here is Kale Rahul. Comes up. As we know from India, Pakistan. Virat Kohli, third in the batting order. The man who gave India the win in that match. Pretty much. And if he comes in, you're to ask me, I think that's the end here for England. 21 from 27 needed. More balls than runs, and this is going to make it double digits as long as it doesn't get stopped. It will be stopped. 
And this was this is gonna be a close call. Goes the keeper. Hits he hits the stumps anyway, but it is futile. 18 from 26. Three maximums would end this. Oh. Bit off course there. It goes to points. Point and cover point. And for the first time in this in this innings, India not scoring. It'll happen again. And at the end of the first over, India none for nine. 18 runs needed from 24 balls. This is going to end rather quickly. Of course, never say never. But the odds here for England are very slim. Oh, bowled him, swinging a miss right into the wicket. And that's certainly got to be a morale booster for the defending world champions. Beautifully taken. Almost satisfying to see it hit. Sharma dismissed, but he will be replaced by the king, Farad Kohli. The man who, as I said, gave India the win against Pakistan, and he, with three sixes, is this one? Yes, it is! Kohli dismissed first ball, and England are back into it. This is one of the biggest shocks I have ever seen in cricket. Virat Kohli out first ball, and now if you're India, what do you do? The big star is gone. It's like Messi getting a red card for Argentina. India now two for nine. And by some miracle, England could pull it off as, although that's gone for four. They just need to keep taking wickets. If, in, if England are able to win here tonight, this will be one of the greatest games of cricket ever played. 14 from 21 needed for India. The odds are slim for the for the defending world champions. This one's gone straight into the air. It's going to go into the stands, and it's going to be six. And now that it'll get it down to a single digit. Eight runs needed for India. As we see this maximum from Shreyas Iyer. Only in the second over. Eight balls, or eight runs needed from 20 balls. This is stopped at point. And the last delivery for Wood. Into the air it goes. Past the fielders. Bounces just before the boundary. And that's four. And now India in a situation whereby a single boundary would end this match. And I believe that that boundary is going to come soon. It may very well be on the next ball. Four runs needed. 18 balls remain. To KL Rahul it goes, and it'll go all the way. Nobody's going to catch that. India defeat England by three wickets. Incredible match. Incredible match. India defeating the defending champions, England, by a score of three wickets. England thrashed by India tonight, many wickets taken, but at the end of it all, the host nation takes victory in an epic battle. Let's take a look at the final scorecard. Ben Duckett led the scoring for England with 15 runs from 8 balls. Behind him were Joss Butler, 6 from 6, Jason Roy, 2 from 6, and Ben Stokes, 2 from 7. Shreyas Iyer brought home the win for India on a night where Virat Kohli got out first ball with 14 runs from just four balls. Rohit Sharma scored eight from four, and KL Rahul 
scored five from four. As has been mentioned before, there were wickets aplenty in this match. Yuzvendra Chahal took two, as well as a catch, while Jasprit Bumra and Shardul Thakur each had one. Mark Wood took the only two wickets for England, and your player of the match this evening is Shreyas Iyer. The next time we will see World Cup action on the network will be in a few days' time. New Zealand and South Africa will face off on October 30th. Until then, we say goodbye and good night. Once again, India defeat England by a score of three wickets.